All right, here's part number 11 of the uh, General Supply Company air compressor uh, restoration, rebuild. See, you got the engine on the frame. Frame's all painted up. Got the radiator done. The new filler neck on there. That's holding water just fine. Got uh, all my belts on. Got the uh, fuel pump cleaned out. Didn't have to rebuild that. It was all all uh, all good inside. The diaphragm was all right. The check valves were fine. I uh, rebuilt the carburetor. All new internal parts there. New jets, mixture needles, things like that. Gaskets and seals. Accelerator pump, all that stuff. Uh, got my key switch on there. Just a simple thing now. But I mean, this wiring is temporary for the moment, just so I can get it running and uh, tune it, get it working correctly. You can see distributors mounted, timed. I made all my spark plug wires for all the two that I need which is cylinder one and cylinder four. The other two just go to ground. Um, made my uh, generator bracket. This was all, this was all missing. I didn't get a, any kind of bracket with it when I bought it, so. Just have a plate and a steel tube and there's a three-ace rod running through there for the generator pivot on. Made my uh, little bracket here with the slide. Got a belt on that. Just need to get a regulator that, though, but I think I've got one that I can use, an old one, a used one. Got a uh, different dipstick. This is an extended one. The one originally only came to up to here, but I found this one on eBay, so. I like it. I like it but nice and tall. Easy to get to. But yeah, it's a running engine at this point. Um, I'll I'll, uh, I'll start it up for you real quick. I don't have a choke any or anything hooked up. But um, and uh, the governor's just just sitting there. It'll uh, it'll bring the speed up to about uh, 1800 RPM or so. But there's no exhaust, so it's going to be noisy. Let's see. No choke either, so it might not run real well. So. Need to tune it yet. But, uh. She's a running engine. So, and it does uh, it does move some air. This is the air outlet port right here. So, it uh, the air the air pump check valves are all working. You know, I haven't really tested pressure built up, but uh, I can only do that. You know, holding my fingers over it and it, it tries to make pressure. So, that's good. So, uh, next video. Hopefully you'll see it uh, a little bit farther assembled, which uh, means a, the flywheel cover will be on. I'll, I still have to paint that yet. The uh, <clears throat> the uh, idle down cylinder, which uh, mounts right here and pushes on this lever here to idle the car, the uh, engine down. I still have to mount that. Run the uh, hoses for that. Also, just have to uh, put in the cylinders. Sorry, not the cylinders. The uh, the two pistons for the unloader valves. Got to install them yet? Plumb them, and uh, just then route the uh, the hose from the uh, cylinder head outlet to the tank, and uh, that'll be pretty much it.
So you should see it, uh, see it up and running shortly. Thanks for watching the series. Appreciate all the uh, input and comments.